and gentlemen, welcome to the Baku Grand Prix 2023. We're driving with the 2023 F1 cars and we're doing a full Grand Prix weekend. And whatever happens today will be a prediction for what happens in the real life Grand Prix. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Boom! B1 with a 140.6. We're quicker than Verstappen as well. We lost a tiny bit of time, but I think we are looking pretty, pretty decent at the moment in this qualifying session. Holy Jesus. This is the qualification. It is Pierre Gasly who grabs pole position for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Uh, just about behind, it is a Charles Leclerc by one tenth or one thousandth of a second. So it looks like uh, it's going to be a very contrasting uh, uh, result here for the Alpines because Pierre Gasly does good and as you can see Esteban Ocon is all the way down in 19 what well that was qualifying let's head to the sprint race straight away as the lights go on though for the Braco Grand Prix let's get a good start in this sprint race and let's hope to oh my goodness there we go already a very quick one a very quick one on the exit and we have Wilton Leclerc on the inside that as he goes very very deep to go for the overtake we go all the way around the outside to get a better traction zone and I think we just about maintain that P1 however it's going to be uh, Leclerc who goes for the overtake once again over here he's on the left hand side as we go and try and get a good exit Leclerc overtakes us for P1 so we have to go and try and close in it's actually Norris who comes up with the P3 all the way down bro that's an insane start from him as we go a little bit deeper we have uh, Leclerc trying to go for a move there Norris even going on us as well i think we didn't really warm up the tire too much at the start and pierre gasly goes all the way down to p2 leclerc now driving away as we keep just about uh lander at bay and we're up to p2 or down to p2 perhaps as we uh, started in p1 of course now leclerc looking very very quick 1.1 seconds already and it looks like we need to hurry 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 if we want to try and stay close to him yo come the flip down bro why are you running who's out first on sunday i mean you'll see it here today as well oh, as we close it oh it's Leclerc! Is it Leclerc? No way. No, wait, somebody else. It's a it's a Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton is the first one to retire in the sprint race, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, DRS opens up now for the first time in this race. In this sprint race. Norris tries to close in. And we have the father slap. And we is going to go defensive as we go to the outside. Maybe a little bit of a switch back can happen. Yes, we can. We're now on the outside. Hey! A touchy touchy because Leclerc shuns us on the tires on the right hand side. Leclerc is defending very, very hard, but we try to go through to the castle section. Will we do it in the. Oh, oi, 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 oi. We have to break a little bit, but we do go and um, look at the tires. However, it's an overtake in the castle section on the car of Leclerc. Jesus, what the hell? Don't do it, don't do it. We're gonna go side by side through the last and final turn. Leclerc barely. Barely comes through the um, the wall there. He almost shunts the wall. And Norris goes for the lead. Whoa! As we try and get a good run here, maybe we can inherit P1 once again. Norris on the right hand side. We're going to try and break at the 100 meter board. We go too deep. No, 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 no. We go too deep. And we go down to P3. Oh, another yellow flag. Another yellow flag. What happened? Is it the other Mercedes? It looks like it's the. Oh, whoa! George Russell retired in the sprint race too. It's a double Mercedes DNF. Exactly. It would be a nice miracle if McLaren leaves at any point in this race in real life. Let's see though. <gasps> no, we lose the car. Oh, I can't go backwards. No, we lose the car. We're down to P14 then. I can't believe it. No. We overtake our teammate once again then in lap 12 out of 17 exactly. We break in time, but our teammate doesn't want to give it up. The RS opens up. On the left-hand side we go, and that should be an easy overtake. But remember, the car in front, Nick De Vries, is going to go and drive away a little bit now. There's a move going on as well for P9. It's now Alonso in P9. Perez loses out to P10, and Gasly might even go for the move as well. He goes to the right-hand side, breaks in deep. Might... Oh, and they actually touch as we go to the inside here then to overtake Perez. Perez goes from P9 to P12 in one single corner. The RS opens up again, and we're going to use all the battery here. Look at that. Beautiful. We might even be able to close into Piergas or uh, to Vettel there. Uh, Fernando Alonso. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alonso is going to get under attack here by Pierre Gasly as we go for the overtake. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Beautiful. Nico Hulkenberg gets a good run through the last and final turn. 
DRS is gonna... Oh, it is low on DRS. He's low on battery. That should be an easy move. We're low on battery as well. But we have DRS right here to the outside. And ladies and gentlemen, we get P8 just about with one point then. And we're driver of the day as well. I mean, not right. Not quite. <laughs> Charles Leclerc gets the win at the end. Lando Norris actually gets a podium in the sprint race. Both has P5 as well. Yo, what a crazy race this was, bruh. So, the predictions for this race were 1. Lewis Hamilton retires. 2. George Russell retires. 3. Gasly, little bit of a problemo. And number 4. Lando Norris gets a very good race in the sprint race. So, we're doing medium, soft, soft. And then, we're also doing uh, 50 laps of fuel. So, one lap under fuel. We have a very sunny day. It should be okay. Oh, the lights are gonna go on in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boom! There we go. Perfect timing. As we go and rev the engine, the lights are gonna go on for the Baku Grand Prix. What can we do? As the lights go off right now, we're gonna have a try and see if we can have a good start right there. But a lot of wheels been here compared to those soft runners. And we get overtaken by two, three drivers already. As we go up the inside. Oh my goodness, we have somebody on our inside. It's certain. Hey! Spun around and a safety car is out on track in the very first lap. Boom, 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 boom. Get a good exit right here then. And it's green, 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 green. As we go straight away on the restart. On the right hand side. Trying to go for a couple of moves to go all the way around of two drivers. And we might be able to get them. No, not yet. Stroll has a very good run through there. Sunoda. Oh my goodness. Stroll goes for a move on Hamilton. Of course, Hamilton had to go through the grid because he, of course, retired. And that's the starting position he'll have to take for this main race. But we're up at the P14 already as uh, Sunoda is going to try and defend from us as well. We break in deep. Not too deep, though. And Sunoda absolutely sends it on uh, last Stroll. Oh my goodness, it's crazy over here. Unfortunately, or fortunately enough, it is uh, Mr. Oh my goodness, as we go for a double move here. <laughs> what? A double move on Stroll and Tsunoda. However, they're still here. We need to watch out. We need to watch out. We need to watch out. And now our exit here is compromised as well. We're literally three wide here. We're literally three wide here. No way. Still three wide. Not here, not here. Watch out. Not here, not here. Oh my goodness, still three wide. Are we going to do a three wide here? No, we can't because it's a castle section. I can't believe we actually went three wide there. Come on, get a good exit, get a good exit, get a good exit. Oh, it's close. He's still on those soft tires. Remember, we are on those mediums at the start. So we're going to be a little bit slower than the top drivers. We do a little bit of a different line, and we're going to have a better line here as well. Can we already go and do it through the left-right section? That's going to be a huge move if we can pull it off. And I think we can. Yes, we can. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Lewis Hamilton almost centered on us in one of the quickest corners of the track. And we're up at the P11 then. The RS opens up with Fernando Alonso defending then on the left-hand side. So we go to the right-hand side. We break as late as possible. Right here. He's going to break even later. So maybe there's a switchback that we can attempt. We can. Oh, my goodness. It is Fernando Alonso who goes way too deep. And we go for the move for P10. And we're back in the points then. Or at least one point. Not points, but in the point. We are going to go for the move on P9. Sergio Perez looks like he has a tough, tough job here to keep us behind. We go all the way around. And we are going to go for P9. But not yet. He's still there. As Sergio Perez breaks in deeper. Can we have a switch back too? Once again. Yes, we can. However, he is going to be right there on the right-hand side. We have a better traction zone. Now Alonso wants to go and have a little bit of a bite too. We just about cut off Sergio Perez there. He our teammate pits. He's the only one on the grid to pit. Esteban Ocon is doing an undercut on everybody here. What? Oh, Joe makes a mistake. Oh, we can't quite do it. We can't quite do it. 2016 was the first season where I really... Um... Hey, what are you doing? Joe makes another mistake. Actually parks it up on the apex. Is he going to retire here? He makes a lot of mistakes here. Ladies and gentlemen, more people are pinning. Of course, we are doing a medium soft soft strategy. But there's a lot of other people that are pinning right now as well. As we try to close into the guard in front. And we lead now for the very first time. Get a flip out of my chat. <laughs> oh! No! No! We lose the car! Oh, no, 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 no. That's going to lose a lot of time. 1.4 seconds to the car of Leclerc. Oh, we lost a lot of time there. We lose the car in the castle section then. Leclerc tries to go for the move then. In lap 17 out of 51, he tries to go up the inside. We try to keep it hanging away all the way around as we go side by side through to the castle section. We can't quite because Leclerc just turns in on us. And clear now grabs P1 in this race. Okay, come on. We need to get closer now. We need to get closer, bro. He's so quick at the moment. He's so quick. 
But if you see me, right? If you, if you do... Oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness, what? I don't believe it, bro. How did we lose the card the entire time? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. That was out of nowhere. I looked the rear tires. I looked the rear tires. Oh, corn pit again. Yeah, bro. I don't know what he's doing, but I think he's doing a three stop. <laughs> is he going to do it here? He is going to do it here. In lap 23, we might get overtaken by Carlos Sainz. As he's going to go up the inside. We're going to try and keep it rolling, rolling, rolling around the outside, which we do for the moment. But he's still there on the outside, which is going to go and compromise our exit speed out of the turn. However, we just about stay in front. We do lose a little bit of time. And we go into the pits. Boom. Beautiful. Breaking time. Boom. Green. Turn into the three, two, one. One. Shabam shabu. Optimal. Come on. Give it to me. And then 2.2 second pit stop. 2.5. Come on. We have been practicing this. What is going on here then? We have George Russell right up in front of us. The driver who, uh, of course, retired in the sprint race. That was the one of the predictions that we've had. And we are going to go and utilize a little bit of the battery to close in. He is very quick on a straight as well, but we are even quicker. And we go to the right hand side, breaking deep. Russell goes deep as well. We go for the switchback now to the inside. Oh, the switchback is just beautiful. Beautiful. We break in deep here in the third on the power. Boom, that's P13. And then we have Oscar Piastri in P12. DRS opens up in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boom, there we go. And Ricardo who is actually Pierre Oscar Piastri, is going to concede the position. And we are going to be up at the P12. P11 is up next as we close in, close in. We're going to go to the inside. A very good move as we just about keep Perez at bay. As we go for the move now on the car of Stroll 2. A couple of people are pitting. Are they going to go hard? They have to go hard then, huh? They have to go hard. Wait, don't tell me they went on to mediums. How did they have mediums? As we go into third here in the fourth, we have overtaken a couple of drivers because a couple of them have pitted. And they're on the hards, they're on the hards, they're on the hards. Leclerc pits as well. Where is he going to be? Where is he going to be? Where is he going to be? It's going to be Leclerc going out of the pits and he loses a position to Max Verstappen, who is in P2. And Esteban Ocon pits again. Bro, I can't believe it. This guy's pitting every single lap of the week. All right, it's time to pit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to pit right here. Box this lap. Box this lap. As we go and do a very... How are you coming fast? Oh my goodness. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. We're fine. Third in. Three, two, one. Boom. Optimal. Beautiful. And we're going to have a 2.2 second pit stop. Come on, give it to us. 2.4. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Out of the pits, though. We're going to be P... Where are we going to be? P5. What? We're P5 right behind of Carlos Sainz. DRS opens up. Okay, never mind. We use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Come on. Into the of Carlos Sainz. We go to the left-hand side. He goes to the left-hand side. So we go and break in deep. Break in deep. Keep it close. Keep it close. All the way around. Boom. That is P4, ladies and gents. And that is P4. Lando Norris. This is, might be the moment. It's lap 46. Getting into lap 47. Can we go for an overtake right here then? On Lando Norris for the podium. Can we do it? Come on, please, 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 please. On the right-hand side we go. Lennon Reese is going to defend, defend, defend. All those hard tires, though. It's going to be tough for him. And before the braking zone, even, we make the overtake. And that's going to be a podium position, then, for Pierre Gasly. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. No! No! We make a mistake. We lock the tires. Oh, no. We need to sweat it, huh? We need to sweat it. There's only four more laps to go. There's only four more laps to go. I can't believe it. No, 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 no. Oh, yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. It's an Alpha Tauri. It's an Alpha Tauri. Will it be to know now? Will it be Nick the Freeze? Uh, Pierre Gasly. But that's Nick. That's Nick the Freeze. <laughs> and we open up the DRS in the last and final lap here then. This will be starting now. As we go over the overtake, over Lando Reese on the outside. He goes deeper, he goes deeper. We go and try to get a cutback, but we can't quite yet because Norris is going to go and keep the position for now. Oh, it's going to be so close. Are we close enough? Oh, I don't know if we're close enough. Seven tenths of a second. Please, please, please. No. It is Lando Norris who grabs the podium. Verstappen is going to win the race then. Uh, out of nowhere, to be fair, because he had a bad qualifying, a bad sprint race, and a very good main race. It is actually also going to be a Ferrari on the podium. Lando Norris in P3. Pierre Gasly in a good position as well, but with a lot of spins in the main race. And a safety car that will happen in the very first lap after the very first turn.
that was the uh, 2023 Baku Grand Prix. Uh, if you enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button as well as uh, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.